G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to audit your Google Business Profile Map Grid Strength. Let's jump into it. So what is a Geo Grid Strength? What 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 is a grid? What's it, what is this uh, local SEO Map Geo Grid? Well, essentially what it is, it's a test to determine how strong your Google Business Profile is. So if you're able to appear further out, let's say you were in Fort Lauderdale and you're able to appear on the maps all the way down in Hollywood, that's a strong profile. But how do you know if you're doing that? Because it's not like you can go onto Google and then put it in and try and change your VPN or something like that. It's, it's quite difficult to do that. So what do you do? You use this thing that I've got up right next to me right now. So this is a geo grid, as you can see right here. This is how you go about doing it. Now, why is this important? A geo grid for your Google business profile is vitally important. You want to see green across the board. Now, is it likely that you'll achieve that out to a five mile radius? Yes, it is. If you work with a great SEO agency, yeah, yeah, it's definitely doable. But the thing is, you need to figure out why am I not ranking? So there's a lot of opportunity for you. If you're not performing well, let's just say you're in Fort Lauderdale, you're in here with me, let's just say, as an example, spot on in Fort Lauderdale. How much would it benefit my business if I was also ranking down near Edgewood? That would really, really benefit me because I'm able to reach the people down here near the airport. Perhaps someone's looking for, they've just gotten off a plane and they're, uh, they're looking for someone to do their digital marketing. Same as Coral Ridge. So as an example, Coral Ridge, here we go. So ranking up here being higher up in the maps would be extremely powerful for me and that's how this works and that's why a strong geo grid is vitally important for your google business profile so what tools can we utilize to do this all right so you've got two options there's two options there's plenty of them out there guys honestly there's plenty of them out there you've got this thing right here bright local this is what we utilize just because it's uh it, like it's on the pricier side, but it holds all the reports and it presents the pretty picture to the client. Now, like I said, it is is expensive. If you do want to, I'll have a link to both of these things down below, guys. You can go across and grab them yourself. Now, I'm not 100% sure. They, yeah, they do do a 14 free day trial. So I think you can get one or two cheeky audits if you want to assess the geo strength of your Google business profile. But this other tool right here is Local Falcon. I love Local Falcon. I, I think this is where what I started using. And the reason I love it is because you don't have to sign up to a monthly plan to do anything. You can just pay 100 bucks and you can have the credits. Uh, you can, I think you can even put in $10. Like it, it's, you know, it's, it's cheap. So you can put that in and you can do a test. You can actually see and you can start to assess your website. So perhaps maybe you're looking at doing your own local SEO, then just do this, chuck in 10 bucks and you can do your own research. Okay, so what I wanna have a look at is let's just grab a random business. Um, let's go Miami attorney, let's grab that. Let's grab one of these guys. All right, so scroll down to the maps. Now, I'm like, if this was your business, if this was your client, whatever it is, this is what you would do. But let's just, uh, who's not performing well in Miami? Make sure we grab someone that's relevant. Let's grab these guys. Okay. So, GMB not categories not found. Criminal justice attorney. Okay. So, as an example, right? Let's grab this. Let's grab their name scroll up so what you can do is you can hit hit this tab right here go search chuck in the business name right here this is for local falcon i'm not going to show you bright local because yeah to be honest i'm pretty stingy with the credits because yeah we run out of every month we have to pay for more credits it's insane but it goes straight to the business now i don't want to put in just attorney miami Let's uh let's be a little bit more specific. Let's utilize the category that he's utilizing. So let's grab this. Now this tab up here, guys. So you go here, put in your keyword here, and let's put in Miami. Let's see where he turns up. Now the grid, 
So whenever you're doing a geo grid, when you're doing trying to do a Google Maps uh, SEO local grid search, you can adjust it. So check it out. Like the three, now it's gone down to smaller dots. You know, let's, we make it 13. It, it's the location is still covering a decent area, but it's going to give us like closer. So not really block by block. So that's how you can do it. I'm just going to drop it down to seven just because this is educational purposes. You can set the radiuses apart. So one mile, you can set it more at two. I think 1.5 will be enough for us to see how they're doing. Okay. Now that's how you can set all of that up. Once you've set up, determined your area, you want to know, Hey, I would like to perform out here. I'd like to be up here and down here. That's how big you should set it out. Now, once that's done, you just hit run scan. So what this is doing right now is every single dot that you see there, what's happening is there's going to be an image appear. So there'll be, let's say a little green or a red dot, yellow dot, and it'll have a number in it. Now that number depicts how well you're doing in that location. So if I was someone on a mobile phone, right? And I'm standing there and I'm like, hmm, criminal defense lawyer, whatever it is, keyword that we typed in, Miami, bang, I chuck it in. Whatever it says. So as an example, as an example, if we're over the Little Havana way, east of Little Havana, as you can see here, this is depicting six, which means if I was standing in this location on my mobile device, I'd get a six. I would get a six. So I'd be ranking down here. That's not great. Okay. That's not ideal. Now, that tells you the strength of the business. So you can come back up here. Really, we're only doing well right in here. Not to have any other green dots. That's, yeah, so close in. You know, thankfully, three, they are in the map pack there, but not far away from losing it. So that's how you can actually look at it. And as you saw, I clicked on each dot. And this is why I like the functionality of Local Falcon. It's cheaper. And yeah, it's just, it's just easier. I like things being easy like this, guys. So as you can see, you can scroll through and be like, okay, who's my competitor? Who should I try and emulate even? These are the guys that I'd be looking at. How are they doing so well? So law officers of Michael and criminal lawyer. So let's get out of that. Let's see how they're doing over here because maybe this is an area that we want to do well. Hmm. Law officers of Michael Mayer. He's doing well. He's doing something right emulate him emulate him that is exactly how i would do it so that is how you audit a google business profile grid guys if you want any help if you want a website assessment there'll be a link to that down below in the comment section make sure that you throw in your website there you get a free website audit if you want to do any of this stuff by yourself click the links to the local falcon or bright local you can go across utilize their tools Make sure that you hit the like button and you subscribe so you can watch more of my insightful videos and I look forward to working with you in the future. Cheers.